on how to properly set up an 8100 machine as you can see here uh, HP machine okay so the first thing that we need to check in terms of the display of the computer going to the monitor is if we have this which is a graphics card so in this part of the video we're going to set up the machine um, when we don't have a graphics card you can check in here on these slots right here that all of them are closed there are no connections which means there's no graphic card graphics card present on the unit therefore we're going to use this port right here which is the vga port that connects to this blue cable that as you can see has a parallel connection and uh, just make sure that the pins on the cable all of them are just straight and are not uh, bent uh, or damaged okay uh, the port should not be a problem usually it's more common for the VGA cable to be the problem if we have display issues. So um, if the graphics card was here, instead of like a completely closed slot, you will see this connector, which uses a slightly different cable that again, we will show in a different video. So let's work with this machine as it is right now. I'm just going to connect three things. Uh, well, four, US, uh, USB keyboard and mouse. All right, so we just check that they go in position. And then the VGA cable, we make sure we are aligning it properly. So as you can see, there's one, one part that is uh, slightly uh, bigger or larger and another one that is smaller. So we just align it properly with the port. Notice that if I uh, do it the opposite way, it actually won't go in. So you, you cannot force it because you're gonna break it. Just need, need to make sure you're inserting it properly. And once it's, it has gone all the way through there, then we just use these screws to sort of um, secure the cable so it doesn't move and provide us a uh, stable and reliable uh, connection, meaning a uh, good display and sound as well. So once we have these two uh, connected, then we can proceed to connect the machine with the power cable, right? then just uh, make sure that our monitor right here, it's already on. Um, so it will actually detect uh, when the machine is on as well. And then if you come to this side, uh, we just need to press the power button here once and just wait for a bit. And if the machine is working properly, these two lights should be on. And then as you can see here, we are getting our screen. And depending on the configuration of the machine, uh, you will see different messages. In this case, this was already configured properly as all the machines should. So it's just loading Windows right away. Um, now I will show you the difference between a, when the machine is not working and when it is working, of course. So uh, in this case, we're just gonna wait a little bit while the um, system boots up. I will just shut it down and show you uh, the symptoms of a machine that has a uh, run issues. So in this case, I'm going to show you the symptoms of uh, a HP machine when it has a RAM issue. So I know, for instance, that this machine has issues with these, with these ports. So uh, uh, this one is the only one that is working right now. So I just changed the RAM to this uh, port right here, and we're gonna see what happens to the machine uh, once it has a RAM issues. So I'm just going to connect the machine. As you can see, it's already hooked up to the monitor and the mouse and keyboard, as explained before. And then if you come to this side, you will see the difference. So when we press the power button, first difference, there's no light here, right? Which means the machine is not being able to uh, process the hard drive or the information on the RAM. As you can see, there is no display on the monitor. So the monitor will eventually either just go to sleep mode, like in this case, or if you try to turn it on, on and off again, it will show scanning for signal or going to sleep mode or no VGA signal from your device. So it's not an issue with the connection. In this case, it's an issue with the computer. And uh, as you can see again, this light is not on. The computer starts making a very loud fan noise, as you can hear. And then if you take the keyboard and try to press, for example, non-lock or the caps lock key, you won't see any lights here. So that's also another indicator that the computer is not actually working properly. Now, if I try to turn the machine off, it actually won't turn off. So I will need to actually hold the power button until it completely shuts down like that. 
So the way to fix this, it's very simple. You just make sure first to disconnect the power cable. So there's no power in the machine, right? You can then open the case just like this, pull up this uh, upwards and then lift the case, leave it somewhere safe. And then we're going to uh, take the power supply, pull it upwards. As you can see, there's an arrow here indicating where it, where it goes. So you just literally can pull it upwards with your hands. It's super easy. Same here, another arrow indicating the same thing. We grab it here, apply a little bit of force and then just put it up. And then we just sort of try to put the cables a little bit apart. Don't need to disconnect them. Just, you know, get it out of your way and then release the two switches like this. And then you can take the RAM module out. You can take uh, your shirt, for example, like in this case, just give it a, a quick clean to the pins. Okay. And then uh, just try to change the RAM of uh, position and see if that solves the issue. If you have uh, multiple RAM modules, like let's say four of them, just take them all out and try one by one until you identify uh, one that works. And then you can, you can test the uh, slots uh, one by one. And if all the slots are working, then that means that uh, there must be a module that uh, is not working properly, a RAM stick itself. So in this case, we connect the machine again. We turn the machine on again. And you will see how uh, now this light is on in difference to the previous case and we do get a display. And as you can see, I didn't have to disconnect the monitor or the keyboard while troubleshooting, just the power button. And now we're getting our Windows screen and everything is just fine with the machine.